Hello and welcome, this is Stacker 2020 and today I want to talk about vacuum sealing your silver and is it the ultimate way to protect your silver from toning and milk spotting and things like that. Um, now I've actually just blocked up the name of this one, the brand, I'm not trying to advertise vacuum sealers, they all pretty much work on the same principle, they do two things, they seal so they have a hot bar where they can melt the plastic and they vacuum seal where they suck the air out and then seal it. Um, with this one, I chose it. It was from Amazon, it cost me around 40 euros. Um, it did come with a roll of the bags, which we'll talk about afterwards, and then a bunch of sort of pre made bags, quite large ones, about 10 of these. Um, so the thing about it is that I've discovered, I've had it for about a week now and I've obviously gone vac crazy and tried to vacuum seal and work out the best way to use these things. Um, and they're very simple machines. Like to be honest, they have a clip, two buttons here, so it like clips down. You unlock it with the two buttons on the side as you see indicated there. And then inside here, you just have two parts. You have the heating strip and then this section here is where the vac happens so you have um, a ring here this is like a gasket seal and the same on the lid um, here the same sort of gasket so once you get the mouth of your bag has to be sitting between these two rubber gaskets here um, and when you lock it shut it does the sealing uh, does the vacuum does the sealing so it's a very straightforward machine so what I've been trying to do is obviously, you know, let's just say, for example, it's very rare that, especially with silver, if I'm doing a whole tube, this is just a massive, this is way too much. So what I've been playing around with is uh, trying to just make like smaller sized bags um, from the rolls and things like that. That, that would be maybe just for a few um, coins as opposed to a whole tube and things like that. But anyway, look, so what I thought we would do today is I would just very quickly demonstrate actually how easy it is to use these things. And uh, what I have here is uh, these are the Rwandan Luna. Um, I've got like there's four been released so far. So I do have uh, two sets of the four and I wanted to separate them into their two sets and vacuum seal them. It's absolutely ridiculous and extra to be doing, but I just thought it'd be fun to, to do and to show. Um, so there's my two sets, one, for one of each of the four coins. And I mean, the two bags I have there are what I would, you know, about the right size, but what I'm gonna do is actually show you how from a roll, from taking the roll, how you would make that sort of smaller bag. So anyway, so the way I like to start it is they are open. The rolls are actually open. So the way I like to do it is you just get it lined up straight, clip down this guy, and then you hit the seal button and you see the red light comes on and that's basically just melting the ends of our roll together now. So once the red light goes off, you give it a few more seconds to sit and then unclip it. And now you can see it's made a nice seal all across there. Um, so now we have our airtight seal. So the next thing to decide is how wide do we want it to be? And so at this point, what I'm actually going to do is just one thing to explain is whatever size your bag is, you need a good sort of three, four centimeters at the top of your bag to be able to put it into the machine and seal it properly. So you need this much space and um, clear and then, you know, your package below that. Um, for this to be able to seal properly. So the way I'm actually going to do it is I'm going to make to put another seal in the middle here so i'm going to half this and then i'm going to want the top opening to be around there to give me enough of a sealing space so let's do that first of all so so again i just want roughly to know where i want to go so if the coins are going to sit in there i need about this much space so i'm going to cut from that and this stuff cuts very easily and it is sort of gridded so it's not 
too hard to stay quite straight on it. Okay, so now I have my sealed on three parts. And as I said, what I want to do now is cut this in half and seal both halves so I have my pocket made. So I'm just going to cut that in half. And again, with this, you don't have to be sort of like exactly, exactly straight. It's quite forgiving um, when you melt it. So there you go. And so now we've got our two little quarter pockets. I'm just going to seal both edges. And uh, we could probably fit both in at once. I'm just going to be safe rather than sorry. I'll just do them separately. Um, Now this bit can be a little bit tricky because it does like to curl up on itself. But there we go. So we will seal again. And it needs, each time you do a sealing, it needs about 15 seconds for the machine to actually reset. But anyway, so now what we've done is we've sealed it on all three sides. I'm not going to bother doing the other one now for the video. I'll just do one and I'll do one set of the coins. So there you go. Now we have our nice little sized bag. Um, what we can do is we'll take one set of our Lunars. And again, as I said, these are in their OMPs. They already are sort of protected, but um, I am just doing this for demonstration. And actually, I, I find it quite fun using this machine. Um, so I'm going to put them in order. So we've got 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020. So we're just going to slip it into our bag now. And as I said, the important thing here is to have that plenty of space. If there's too much, we can always trim it down a little bit later. But basically, that's what you want. A nice big um, bit of space. So now we open up. And as I said, the important thing here is to make sure that the opening of our bag is sitting within the rubber gasket ring. So we can go quite far up because we've got plenty of space here and we want to make sure it's nice and flat so when the seal is made it seals it properly so you don't want any big creases or anything lock it down and now we can do the vac and seal so you'll see it starts to suck all of the air out of the bag and now once the air is out it does the seal automatically And there you go. Now we have it nicely protected, sealed. Um, you know, it's a really nice way to go. And uh, as I said, now from the seal line is here. I see the seal line there. So I can cut as long as I leave, you know, a couple of millimeters. I can cut all of this excess off the top here now just to shrink the package down even more. So I've done this with with tubes so this is a, a tube of philharmonics um now you do if you're doing a tube you do need to leave quite a bit extra on top um and also with the tubes as you see i put in the anti-tarnish strips in there as well um i could trim this down a little bit more but yeah so you need a little bit more if you're going to do a tube um i've done it with things like this 10 ounce um Valiant 2020, uh, you know, again, anti tarnish strip in there with it, um, or even things like this, which is the all of the Queen's Beasts up to date, um, with the anti tarnish strip again. Um, you know, the, it, it's just a way to really give you that extra protection. I mean, tarnishing especially is caused by oxidization and so contact with the air. Um, milk spotting you know i, I said I, i'm still not 100 percent what milk spotting is a lot of people think that it's part of the cleaning process and the mints um some people think that it's actually uh, an atmospheric or there's two different kinds of milk spotting whichever way um by doing the vacuum sealing i think you're giving your silver the maximum chance of retaining its best condition um so i've done this you know like as soon now i've got this thing um i am literally as soon as i get items in i check them i vacuum seal it with a tarnish strip um if i'm doing larger batches or something i might chuck in a dehumidifying uh, silica pack in with it as well um but it is really nice it's it's helped me to sort of tidy things up it's great like you know as an example having the 
queen's beats not having a tube to put them all in um this basically just makes it its own tube essentially um so there you go guys i really do um i really like it i you know i gotta be honest now having had it for over a week and playing around with it quite a lot um i really do see the benefits of it not just for the conditioning but also for organization um it's really made it easier to tidy up all my extra bits and bobs um and as i said yeah doing things i have done this with some of my other semi numismatics you know like put them in a little set and vacuum sealed them as one little set um so yeah and now when it comes to brand um i honestly you know i don't think there's so much difference i think they all pretty much perform the same function i just went onto ebay i had a rough uh, sorry to amazon i had a rough budget of what i wanted to spend which was 40 euros and i found something that was sort of like highly rated it had like five or six hundred reviews a four and a half star average um you know that sort of thing so that's just how i decided and it also as i said it did come with a, a set a roll of the the bagging material and also a set of the bags ready made um which a lot of the other ones didn't so that they they're relatively expensive um for this packaging but nothing crazy for me spending an extra i don't know like i, I can't even work it out but let's just say it cost me an extra 20 30 cents you know euro cents to do that well when you've spent something like 200 euros on a coin like this and it will lose its premiums well to me spending an extra 30 euro cents to, to make sure that it maintains its premium as best i can it makes absolute sense to me so that's it guys i think that's more than enough if anyone has any questions you know you're always welcome to hit me up in uh, on my email which is down in the description i'm always happy to answer any questions and give you a hand so Take care, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.